After finishing 5-7 and seven last season, the Arroyo Grande Eagles are on quite the hot streak, and it's all thanks to their senior leadership. The Eagles went 1-4 and four through the first five games last season, but have flipped the script and are currently 4-1 and one after upsetting rivals San Luis Obispo, and most notably, the Mountain League champs for the past five years, St. Joseph. I spoke with head coach Michael Hartman and senior quarterback Drake Missimore on the team's success so far this season. The Arroyo Grande High School football coaching staff took advantage of a heavy senior roster and gave them the opportunity to lead the way. We, we did empower our seniors to step up and lead this team. We, we tried to be more of a player-led uh, offseason as opposed to a coach-led offseason um, because it, it means more. It means more when it's coming from your peers than when it comes from the adult who's in charge of you. Coach Hartman has been coaching on the Central Coast for 24 seasons and is currently in the middle of his sixth season as head football coach at Arroyo Grande. He and the coaching staff integrated what they expect from players, where the message was spread from the upperclassmen to the underclassmen and the leaders rose to the challenge. These are the expected behaviors of an Arroyo Grande football player and they've done a great job of, of taking those expectations and embracing them and then teaching those things to the younger the younger kids. Royal Grandy is coming off of a 28 to 10 win against five time Mountain League Division champs St. Joseph, who finished seven and zero in league play last season. St. Joseph is a very good football team and in order to beat good football teams, you can't turn the ball over. And um, so we were uh, we were on the positive side of the turnover margin. Uh, Friday night, and it's a big reason why we were able to win the game. Senior quarterback Drake Missamore has spread the ball to seven different receivers this year, and it has helped contribute to a 31 point per game average. We all have a good connection. You know, our coaches make sure to get the ball to the playmaker, and we all have playmakers on the field. It's a, our team is not one person, it's everyone. The Eagles head to Nipomo to face a 2-3 and three Titan team, but are careful not to get too high on their recent upsets. They're a good team. They have good, great coaches. You know, they got great players, and we just have to come in and execute what we need to execute and, you know, not make many mistakes.